Good morning, this is Penny Kerville, your North Myrtle Beach Realtor, again t today to answer your big question. When you get ready to retire, aren't you concerned that our beach lifestyle fits into your retirement budget? I made this video just to answer those questions for you. I like to call myself the Myrtle Beach Sherpa because as your advisor, I can help you find answers to all of your important questions. And I really love our beach community and I'm passionate about attracting retirees who will help preserve and protect our wonderful lifestyle. This is an example of median single family home prices from 2018 to 2020. The Coastal Carolina Association of Realtors provides this information to us. It is deemed reliable, but not guaranteed. So I always encourage my buyers to check out the prices. And this, of course, is the same type of information for median condo prices over the last three years. Again, we deem this information to be reliable, but I always encourage my buyers to check out this information for themselves. And I can help do that, of course. And we talk about lifestyle. Unfortunately, we have to talk about taxes. So the first thing as a home buyer you would want to look at are real estate taxes. I always recommend that you check the Horry County Assessor's Office to find out the current tax rate for your prospective new home. And of course, for my clients, I'm more than happy to make that call for you. South Carolina, according to SmartAsset.com, has some of the lowest property taxes in the United States. But do check your financial advisor and see if you could benefit in addition from the South Carolina homestead law. Another benefit is South Carolina does not tax Social Security income and has a $15,000 deduction for seniors receiving any other type of retirement income. And then, of course, there's sales tax. The good news is that in Horry County, we don't have any sales tax on groceries, but the minimum combined sales tax rate in our area of North Myrtle Beach is 8%. Like most beach localities, the city of North Myrtle Beach has a hospitality tax. This hospitality tax applies to people who eat in a restaurant, rent a room for a week or two, go to a show, or play golf in our North Myrtle Beach area. Check out the city of North Myrtle Beach or your final locality for more details. My husband calls this the tourist tax because it provides extra tax revenue for which we residents don't necessarily have to pay. And last but not least, I hope you find this video helpful and you will agree with us that North Myrtle Beach and Little River are great places to move and live. For links to all my tax resources, please view the video description below this video to get all the tax links. And while you're there, please subscribe to my channel. This is Penny Kerville, your North Myrtle Beach Realtor. Have a great day.